Hi, this is Danny Lewis, and this is a track deconstruction in Ableton Live 10. And this vibe is a little bit different to what I usually do, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, maybe out as another pseudonym or something, but I want to give you a little behind the scenes look at this track in Ableton Now. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here, and it's a very different approach to the, the, the kind of technique that I use usually. And I want to show you some of the things that I've done here. Now, I know I've been talking over the intro, but you might have noticed there's been quite a few different textures for the beats. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to show you the automation that's occurring here. The other thing that I'm going to do is I give away the fact that I've used one of these Ableton kits. This is the Fabric kit, all right? And what's unique about this is the kick is over three layers. And you can see that these are all automated here. So the mutes are being triggered at certain points. Back to these records, you know. Let's come back to that section, right? So let me just shut up, have a listen and watch what happens. I'm just gonna dive in and show you that this third layer is off at the moment, okay? much going on but get ready there will be some changes so you see that the second layer was turned off I'm gonna come back to that right have a listen so what I'm trying to do is to build up uh, tension here it's almost like a DJ using the EQ but there's a whole new dimension to it. So now look, I've got the first layer on, the middle layer off, and the third layer on. And now that middle layer is back. Third layer off. So the, the whole point of all of that was really to lead into this section here, this breakdown. Back to these records, you know what I'm saying? There's a vocal sample there, which is being treated. Back to these records. Show you some of the things going on here. Back to these records, you know. I'm using the new echo device for a nice kind of stereo width. I mean it's feeding into the black hole effect here, you can see that. And just for added ex extra impact, the vocal on the repeat there is basically shifted down, so minus nine semitones. And what we had there was a, a really quite a dramatic introduction to where the beat and bass line are coming in. So now we've also got some percussion, and this is a loop that I stretched. The bass line is good old M1. This is the organ, so it's organ two. Let's come back on that section because you might have missed it. So we're going to come back to the point just before that. Back to these records, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back to these records, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back to these records. Back to these records. So this is deliberately full on at the moment. Get ready for another kick mute. And that's at the same time as this string sample coming in. And what I was trying to do is give a sense of almost like a DJ moving a crossfader over at certain points. Back to these records, you know what I'm same vocal, but cut up and repeated. And then there's also a fade occurring on there. So this track's got a lot more automation than I'd usually apply. Once again, feeds to the back black hole effect, which is on the return track here. Back to these records. Okay, so there was the introduction of a snare fill there. And now we've got a real classic sounding piano riff. I wanted to get a bit of a Chicago kind of vibe for this. So I've got two M1 pianos. And these are running through this new beat format effect, which I find is amazing for gluing stuff together. 
so it has a real interesting vibe to it. Let me just show you something. So what we'll do is we'll put the cursor here and I'm going to solo the pianos. So here we go. I'm going to take it off. And then on again. Just like the little extra kind of vibe it adds to it. So it feels like it's cooling it together nicely for me. And we're coming in for the strings again and the vocals. And the whole idea of this track is really it's two contrasting sections where you've got the real driving heavy beat with the percussion and the bass and then the contrast which is the piano and the strings. So we're back into that heavier section again. The drum programming has got a really nice uh, set velocity on the closed hat, you can see that here. Ride cymbal coming in now. We haven't heard that so far in the track. It's just to give it extra sense of energy. And really what I was trying to do with this track is create that sense of intensity. You know, so when you've had a few beers, wine, whatever it is you're having, it gives a sense of disorientation, but also kind of heavy. There's a real momentum to it. And we're coming up to the final breakdown and a couple of things are going to be different here so that we don't get bored. Slightly more exaggerated fill. And what I'm doing now is, is as you can see here, the fill is occurring a bit more regular than before. There is in fact a riser effect here as well. This is coming again from the serum. Building up the elements until... The vocal is pitched down again, but look, we've got something new going on here. And this is all about the percussion. I've applied a clip envelope here, so the transposition is the pitch rising over a long duration. And then what I do is I flip this up. This is normal, but then I've got a copy and there is a transposition occurring on this too. And then we're back to normal. And this really now, goes on for quite a while and it's been designed to allow a DJ to really blend something in. Deliberately repetitive, easy to mix into. And that's about it. It's kind of refreshing for me to do something a bit different. I'm just going to take you through the master chain here. SSL compressor here from Waves. Just gelling the mix together lightly. Once again, the Abbey Road vinyl plugin. Set to cartridge DJ, turntable DJ, generation lacquer. I took the noise and crackle down, but apart from that, default settings. And then the L2 at the end of the chain is my mastering limiter. So yeah, that's it. Um, I am actually looking for a deal on this. So if there are any labels out there like the sound of this, let me know. And uh, once again, if you have any questions, I'll see if I can respond, but uh, time is limited at the moment. But let's see how it goes.